something like TikTok, which is there to grab your attention and keep it, even they have started implementing things. If you surf too long, it pops up a video that says, hey, you've been surfing for X hours. Why don't you put this down and come back later? So it certainly is plausible that we can get to a point where we will have AI that gives us the right kind of feedback like that. There's certainly no technological barrier to it. In fact, right now, with some prompt engineering, you could tell your AI, stop sucking up to me so much. Don't, don't tell me I'm a genius anymore. Just answer my damn questions. I, I wonder, though, if people will really want this. If we'll be in a situation where it's technologically fully possible to make these machines less frictionless, give us more pushback, call us out when we, when we mess up. But we won't want them to do that. We will, we will insist on machines that make us feel good about ourselves. I think it could serve as a sandbox where young people yeah. get to make all their dumb mistakes. If you have an AI companion that's giving you the right kind of feedback and saying, hey, that hurt my feelings that you said that, or that didn't seem like you were thinking about me when you said that. But the problem is, what if it's more fun to play in the sandbox than the real world? What if, what, if you, what if you find your AI companions just better than real companions?